Welcome back NYC fragrance family. Catch you another video. Now if you noticed I did a couple of reviews of the house of Chiruti. I have been picking up Chiruti fragrances during this pandemic. You know, I know the brands, you know, like Chiruti, Gianfranco Ferri, Italian designer brands that don't get a lot of play, don't get a lot of talk. And they're coming in at good value. So I started picking them up. Now, I did two videos and the original fragrance in this line seems to get requested in the comments. I know there's some people that are high on it. So here I am to do a review about it. And what we're talking about today is the original from the line, Chiruti 1881 for men. See that? On the side there, Chiruti 1881. Let's see if you can see that. Got that 1881 frosted glass. Now, when I first got this and I first smelled it, it's a classic, to me, classic style, gentleman's fougere type fragrance. Aromatic fougere, probably at its best. The performance on this is spectacular. I, out of anything that I've gotten recently in this price range, I don't think I have something that performs as good as this. If you have anything that's coming in at $30 that performs like a beast, let me know. So this fragrance opens up, you get that lavender and that bergamot, those typical barbershoppy feel with the lavender, right? This one also has some cypress, there's some carnation in it. It's got a touch of rose. Then you get that pine that's always been an older fragrance, this pine tree, pine type note, combining with that cypress that creates that out in the woods type vibe, right? Then you get a mossy dry down with some sandalwood and some cedar, and it just becomes this nice woody, aromatic fougere fragrance that stays with you and stays with you. Now, for the people like myself that like these type of fragrances, it's, it's a hit. For the price you're paying, I recommend it without a doubt. So far, I have seven Chiruti fragrances. I'm gonna have to think there because I know I've been picking up a few more and I think there's three more on the way. But this one being the original is a standout. There is one more I have that I will talk about. I probably won't review it till it gets a little cooler because I think it's a cooler weather fragrance. But I think for me so far out of all of them, it's, it's the best one. Now, why is it the best one? It's probably the most interesting. For cheap fragrances, it has a little twist to it. It's a little darker. It's a little richer. I did cover Essential, which to me had a good twist, but still a fresh enough fragrance to wear in the warmer weather. I covered Sport, which was not bad. It was a serviceable fragrance. Probably my least favorite so far out of all of them. But this, the original 1881, I find it to be really, really nice. I picked up Lassen's the Chiruti, so I can cover that one as well. I got Chiruti C, so I can cover that one as well. And then I got three more 1881's coming. I believe it's Signature, Riviera, and Silver. I'm not 100% sure the third one, that might be, I might not be right about that one, but I know Signature and Riviera, because Riviera is one that you don't find here in the States. So I bought it overseas, so I'm waiting on it. When I get it, I'll get my first impressions or thoughts on it and then see if I'm gonna pop a video out. It should be a summertime fragrance, so chances are if it's good enough, I will do a review and get it out sometime this summer. So, do I recommend this fragrance? You guys like aromatic fougeres? I absolutely do. If you guys don't, then pass. If you don't like the mature type fragrances, pass. If you like mature fragrances, give it a go. It's a good price. And like I said, it's going to perform well. It's going to give you that vibe. It's going to give you that smell. And you're going to smell, I, I smell amazing when I wear it. I think I smell amazing. I, I really enjoy the smell. So new viewers, thank you for stopping by. New subscribers, thank you for joining the NYC Fragrances family and my NYC Fragrance family. From the bottom of my heart, thank you for supporting the channel. I appreciate everything you do for me. And until the next time, remember, if you smell good, you feel good. Have a nice day.